I've recently come to the realization that I have red S and if I'm honest with myself, I've had quite a lot of injuries lately. What injuries, if any, point to red S that I maybe could have looked back and saw that this was happening to me for quite a while? Great question. So when the body is struggling to be able to get those energy bills paid, truth be told, almost every organ system in our body can start to um, feel the consequences of that. So we know stress fractures or also known as bone stress injuries. If that bone is not able to remodel, you'll be prone to stress fractures. But some new things that they're really starting to pay attention is to like tendonitis, um, ACL. Now, again, we don't have concrete data, but what's being hypothesized is when there is a delay in glucose or energy coming up to the brain, our body does not move in a as a coordinated manner. And so we're prone to some of these type ligament tendonitis issues. The other piece is REDS isn't just um, a lack of energy, it's mm -hmm. also an inflammatory condition. So we might even see um, an increase in hepcidin, which blocks iron absorption in the digestive tract. Um, we might see some of these chronic niggles that people talk about um, where their, their IT band is irritated all the time. Could this be a result of an inflammatory state that's secondary to not enough energy intake? Okay. And you mentioned about stress fractures. Are there areas of stress fractures that are, that, I mean, I've heard in the past that um, hip, uh, sacral and femur are the like the three big ones of, of this is a major sign that it could be red S. Is that correct? And, and are there in, in the other areas? That is correct. Now, again, I wish I was a, a, a bone um, expert, but through the, my colleagues that are, I've learned that that spongy bone that's in that area is very dependent on um, nutrient rich deposits as well as blood flow. So when we have less blood flow through the body due to some of the mechanisms we've already talked about, like either conserving body temperature or estrogen, um, then we see diminished blood flow. And then if the nutrients are not going, because, you know, as uh, our, our buddy, Dr. G always talks about it in cave brain, the job is not to build up the body. The job is to protect it. So it's not going to put that nutrition deposit back in that hip and pelvis area it might even actually be breaking down the bone to get important nutrients that's not coming in through our diet. Okay. So those are the three, if you have one of those three, uh, um, uh, a, a, a stress fracture, a reaction in one of those three areas, that is a major sign to pay attention here. Yes. Or even if you've had a DEXA scan and um, maybe mm -hmm you have not had a stress fracture yet, but there's some diminished bone density. That's a, that's a, proactive way to kind of raise the flag. Like I probably should be doing some changes to my nutrition. Okay. Thank you.